do this before moving to Los Angeles? Yeah, let's start at the beginning. So the first thing I would do is I would make sure your social media presence makes you look like a professional, like a LinkedIn profile. So if people Absolutely. go to your Instagram, they know, oh, Nicholas, it's about his business <laughs> yeah, he, and he's about his business it's not a bunch of like cat memes mm -hmm. you know like we know what we're gonna get when we hire him okay so that's that would be step one that's what i did um yeah before moving here it's just i like, like the comparison to linkedin because yeah. it is it should be treated more like a professional resume digital yeah. resume totally absolutely so that would be i mean that's what i did it's like oh i made sure my instagram was like looked like i was a professional in yeah. the field you know um absolutely. what's the next thing you would do so what i did um, cause I knew absolutely no one here. I didn't have, I mean, I had some friends as I was moving from college, but my friends didn't know anyone here either. Right. We just knew each other. So right. <laughs> I basically was like, how can I put myself in the best situation to a like network, m meet new people yeah. who are doing what I'm doing and put myself in a situation where I might get a, a gig. Right. Yeah. So what I did is I found every single guitar player I could mm -hmm. through social media, through uh, Facebook, whatever it was, and yeah. every guitar player who was working here, and I found a way to hit them up, the email address, I DM'd them on social media, whatever, and I booked a guitar lesson with them. Hustle. Because um, I was like, if I can meet 50 guitar players, one of them will have something good to say, one of them will tell me to go to this place to meet this person to hang out somewhere, whatever, mm -hmm. right? And worse comes worse, I just like, learn something on guitar. <laughs> right. So, um, and it was funny, the first lesson I had was with Zane Carney. Do you know who that is? I don't. Know. Zane Carney, he, he played guitar on John Mayer's tour. Uh, definitely a guitar player. Is, He's yeah. also a great artist, okay. a great guitar player. Um, but he was the first guitar lesson I had, and he had shown me so much great stuff on guitar, but also I remember he gave me a, a list of venues wow. to go check out, like jam sessions and stuff. One was like Super Soul Monday, that used Rest to be at Dirty yeah. Laundry. Uh, so, hit up all these guitar players, I'm like as many people as I can meet as possible. Mm -hmm. And then I also was like, I'm gonna be hurting for money. Yes. So I looked up every wedding band I could find because okay. back in Boston, I used to play in a, a wedding band yep. there. That would just make money on the weekends. And I probably sent like three, four, 500 emails out that That's were like, I found every GB band I could. Yeah. Like even like small time ones, whatever. I was like, hey, if you guys are ever hosting auditions, here's my resume, whatever, I would love to work with you. Because, yeah. you know. GB I, stands for general business. General business. Right. It's exactly. a wedding band. Yeah. Wedding band, yeah. that kind of thing, yeah. you know. Not a whole lot of work came out of that per yeah. se, but it, I felt really good because I actually got to meet a couple people. I had some new leads on like Ooh. places to go to check out, to meet other artists and guitar players right. and stuff. And it kind of like gave me the sense of some footing, you know. Right. Instead of just coming here and now what, you know. Um, but I do like the social media thing as well because that was something I worked really hard on as well yeah, yeah. too. Because you know, you meet someone out wherever at a show, first thing it's like, oh, that's like, what's your Instagram? Always. You connect there, and then yeah. they can kind of check you out and be like, who is this guy? Right. Does he get a guitar? Does he suck? Like, you know what I mean? Right. Like what the what the general vibes are there. Do you feel like you utilized uh, your network as a Berkeley alum? Did you like have a lot of people come over and you guys kind of came over together and you could like tackle this town together or yeah. not so much? So it's funny because like, y yes and no. My yeah. first two years, my first year or two here like working, mm -hmm. I would see all of my friends from Berkeley and stuff, but I didn't really get any working opportunities from them. All, hmm. of, my, all of my working opportunities had actually come from completely outside of that network. Hmm. Which is funny because a lot of people are like, I want to go to music school for the network because it's built in, right? Um, but it's funny because everyone I met out here had nothing to do with music school and were just working Ooh. and were getting me opportunities like that. Yeah. Um, what you said you came from Chicago, right? Yeah, well, I went to undergrad in Madison, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and then lived in Chicago for about 10 years. Um, so one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to cut my teeth and feel good about my guitar playing before I came here. Um, Cause I didn't major in music at all. So I was definitely behind right. a little bit. Um, so knowing a lot of different songs and knowing a lot of different styles, yeah. like, you know, rock and like R and B and like different feels too, like swing and like the D'Angelo drunken feel. And, oh, yeah. 
you know, like some gospel music and that kind of thing, since Chicago is such a big town for that as well. Um, and then like having a good list of songs in my head that I could go out. Like so a, a lot of times before you get here, you'd want to like, you'll go out to a jam session. Maybe, yeah. maybe not. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But like, that's how I, you know, you want to come up and people be like, oh, do you know this song? Well, yeah. if you don't know it, definitely don't, don't play. play. <laughs> <laughs> definitely don't. But you know, the more songs you know, the better, and that helps with your exposure, right? So, yeah, oh, yeah. do you know this Michael Jackson song, or do you know like? So you want to have like a little set list, almost. kind of. And yeah. I feel like there was a lot of songs that were similar. Like mm -hmm. I, I know, like feel like making love, the D'Angelo oh, version. Oh, that oh, is like a huge song here. Yeah. Um, or there's this Herbie Hancock song. Uh, what was it? Uh, it's a jazzy song. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Da, 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 da. I can't even think of the name. What it yeah, was. What's, what's, the name? what's the name of it? Oh my god. Comment the name below. Yeah. <laughs> comment the name. Uh, so that was a big one. Yeah. Um, and there's just kind of like this list of songs that I wanted to be familiar with. Yeah. Um, so that when you go out and you're like, uh, somebody will ask you to sit you in, can and you can like, hey, yeah. exactly. So yeah. I feel like that's. That's a great. Or if they ever turn to you and say, like, what song do you want to play? Like, you have something to recommend yeah. that you know everyone else will kind of it's, know. And it's got to be cool. It, it can't be like, you know, there's like a list of Let's songs. Let's play that blues. Are, right. Yeah. That is like cool here. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, just having a, a knowledge of like a catalog of songs, a working catalog that um, that you can go out and play with other people because mm -hmm. like people want to see like how you hang and how how you your time, how can you rip like yeah. not on social media but like how can you rip like right here like exactly. right now? Can you do it? Can you turn it on? Yeah, or not? And that's uh, a big thing because yeah. so much of social media it's like crafted in our bedroom, a right. hundred takes 100 to takes, get the yeah. right one, you know, and then it's like cool, like you do good in your room, but like let's see how you do live like, yeah know, live and in color now and it, it kind of leads to another thought which mm -hmm. is you know outside of like having your playing together you know your shit together so to speak uh, being able to hang musically obviously but also being able to hang yeah with yes. with That's people huge. yeah being a, a good hang being a good person uh, and being able to connect with people on like a personal level mm -hmm. outside of just like hey here's my business card like they will Laugh you. Eat you up. Yeah, oh yeah. You know? no, don't do that. <laughs> um, I'm pretty extroverted, but like I can get social anxiety just like anyone else, right. you know, especially when it's like, wow, all these people are working. It's intimidating. That's yeah. always what I'm saying. Right. You know, it's like you go to a jam where you know, like, okay, this is so and so's bass player touring with this person and they've right. done the whole arena tour before. I've never played a venue in my life. Like, how yeah. do I how do I make them think I'm cool, right? Like, get that all out of your head and just like connect with them like any of your other homies, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, to that point, I mean, we're all people, right? So we yeah. all like to go to the movies or like grab coffee or like that kind of yeah. thing. Usually that stuff that's not even always related to music is a great entry point, right? Like, hey, you want to grab coffee? Or like, hey, let's grab like some lunch or something. Yeah. If somebody's willing and down and free to do that, I mean, that's a great, you know, you don't have to be like, hey, let's get together and jam or I'd love yeah. to see, you know, like, I don't know, that, that sometimes works, but I feel like just keeping it like casual. Keeping it casual will You'll hopefully lead more positive results. yeah hopefully. exactly hopefully yeah. hopefully i guess another thing before moving here um is just playing in different situations like you mm -hmm. played in wedding bands playing uh, corporate bands or like playing at a church or doing some touring that's always great um just to have a little bit of experience before getting here absolutely um I used to tour with this band called J.C. Brooks in the Uptown Sound. Um, we went to Europe, and this was like my first time being overseas, and we were opening for Charles Bradley, rest in okay. peace. And like, they were kind of living in that Dap King's world, yeah. um, and we were opening up for him, and I was just kind of getting to see the world on somebody else's dime, right, getting paid for it. Yeah. Um, and that also helped me like realize, okay, like I, this is an amazing experience, but it also sets you up for like, okay, you have a little notch in your belt of like, all right, now I know what to expect. Like we toured the States a couple times in like mm -hmm. a van. I swear I didn't even have, um, like I'm grateful for every opportunity, but there was no like neck rest. So I remember like, <laughs> I remember dude, like my neck was so oh my kinked God. by the time when you go from like, yeah. what is it, like Toronto all the way down to Miami oh, and all the way man. around to LA and back, like do the circle of, um, but you know, it kind of like, it builds your character too. So like yeah, having yeah. a like, having all those notches in my belt and all those experiences were great. Um, mm -hmm. I did move to LA a little bit later, uh, yeah. like in my twenties. So I guess I was a full, like I was able to do that, but yeah, you're still like if if you move after college or even before college, if you got if you got it, you know, you might as well. Is there anything that you did 
when moving here that in retrospect you're like, ooh, that's kind of cringe. Oh like, yeah, there's, there's. I wouldn't want to do that again. Yeah, like live and learn. Oh my god, I had made business cards when I first moved here, and <laughs> yes, didn't dude. matter where I was, if I was at the bar, even if I was just talking to someone yes. who wasn't a musician. Yeah, I'd be like, oh yo, by the way, let me just get, <laughs> get, get this. Uh, here's my card if you ever need yeah, a guitar. Yeah. Horrible. You know what I mean? Doesn't work. Does not work. Zero percent. If someone time. handed me a business card, I would be like, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right. It's just not how our it's industry works. It's not how the industry works at, at all. Um, That's a great one. You know? What about That's you? Okay, what did what did I do like coming here? Yeah. Um, I think just coming up to people and being overly eager. Yeah. Like um, mainly like hey, like we should we should jam. That's oh that's such that, that's so crazy. That was the fi- the phrase that we should jam. We should jam sometime. We should jam sometime. <sighs> Dude, not a good look. Gun to the head. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, cuz a lot of these people are like they have wife and kids, they got a mortgage and they like yeah. you know got the people they got responsibilities and like jamming might be fun. Yeah. But like to me it also shows like it, it's it's a feeling of like I just got here cuz like yeah, in yeah. college or whatever like in my hometown like right, right, that's right. what you would do cuz we were like kids and we're like oh let's just jam you know what i mean but like in a in a way it's kind of sad cuz like i haven't it is kind i haven't jammed really since i'm in LA we should jam sometime. <laughs> we should jam. <laughs> like, yeah. But you know what I mean? Like yeah. all I used to do like in, 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 in college and high school and stuff was like. Same. Literally be like, yo, come over, let's jam. And we would just play. So and it true. was fun. You know what I mean? But oh, like it here it's like, if someone's like, oh, come jam. It's like, am I going to drive 35 minutes in traffic, spend all my gas money, spend the whole day just to play some stuff, not get paid. Right. <laughs> Which sucks. It's expensive here. It's yeah. the mindset, but it is, yeah. it's so expensive here, you know? Those are insta-kill words. Yes, totally. We should jam sometime. We should jam sometime. But now it kind of got me itching. I know, now I kind of want to do it. So if you're just moving here Mm -hmm. and you were like going out and you wanted to look like Sunday best, like there's definitely a look I feel like that goes into being a guitar player. You know, you want to be yourself authentic, but like what would you wear so that you're like looking your best and you're feeling your best like going out on a you know what gold diggers is now the big place on yeah. Mondays. like where how would you present yourself yeah i mean that's that's like a good that's actually a good point that i would have never really thought of and it's it's funny you bring it up when i first moved here never even thought about what i was wearing but i always just like to wear really ridiculous stuff like i would wear like these skinny jean corduroy, bright red or bright yellow. That's kind of sick. And then I would wear like a long sleeve button up with like a crazy print all over it. And I would wear like boating shoes. So this is a vibe. With long socks. It yeah. made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> and I remember the first tour I ever did yeah. um, was with this artist, uh, Jordan Fisher. Yeah. And we were like well into the tour. And I remember one day we were like sh- at a mall on a day off in Florida somewhere. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, maybe, I was like, what if I like, what if we went clothes shopping together? Cause he had like such a well put together fashion style. And he was like, he, I remember he just like grabbed my shoulder. He was like, honey, <laughs> let's do it. He's like, let's see those shoes first. And he like took them and threw them away. And he's like, I'm going to buy you a pair of Nikes. Yeah, like, yeah. Whatever. The thing that he was really showing me is he's like, you don't need to spend a bunch of money on clothes right. and like be this high fashion, like, Ooh, I'm so cool. He's like, just like think about the same way you like present your guitar playing. It's like when I'm playing guitar for someone, I want them to like feel a certain way. I want mm-hmm. them to be like, wow, he thought about what he's playing. He has his stuff together. Like yep. it's a, it's cohesive, you know what I mean? So I started thinking about that just like in general, like how, how you dress is like people, first impressions are big and like yep. people will judge you. You know yep. what I mean? It's just the world we live in. It doesn't matter if I show up in sandals and shorts, you know what I mean? Am I going to immediately be like, oh, I should hire this guy for this big, high-profile gig. You know what I mean? Yeah. Versus you come in looking good, you give like a haircut, yeah. you know. Oh, this yeah. guy looks like I should respect him and hire mm-hmm. him. You know what I mean? And normally in pop and R&B, there's like a kind of a uniform, like dressing in all black. All it's black. It's usually, it's you know, you make the artist pop out, right? So they're, you're supporting, right? So, you know, if you have like black jeans, black t-shirt, yeah. maybe like a watch or a necklace or whatever. Yeah. And like, that's kind of it. Like. Mm-hmm. A hat or like a nice haircut. Yeah, like that's it's, kinda it. it's like, kind of like dressing the part for yeah. for any job you're going to. Yes. You know what I mean, like 
not to think of like every time you leave the house as a job interview, but, but it's like, is. it kind of is, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you never know when you're going to meet that person who's going to ask you to do this gig or right. whatever. Or you're going to randomly hop up on a jam and right. you know what I mean? Like, so, or like you could be at lunch, like somewhere and like, yeah. you might see your idol right across or like somebody yeah. crazy is going to be sitting <laughs> yeah. right next to you and you want to, you don't want to be like, you know, whatever you were dressed apparently. Yeah. Boat shoes, <laughs> yeah. Even though I love wearing boat shoes growing up, yeah. but, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, it is always kind of like the audition, especially when you're just getting here yeah. and like stepping out. Um, so it's huge. It's a great point. I wouldn't even yeah. thought of that, but that was a, such a big part of my adjustment, you know, of coming here and being like, Oh, these are things that I didn't really think of mm -hmm. before, but help, help the main mission, the main brand. So before I moved to LA, some things to look out for, right? We said, get our social media together, a cohesive brand mm -hmm. really put together because it's our digital resume, mm -hmm. right? Um, reach out to people who you know living in that city who play your instrument who are seeking the same opportunities as you are we talked about how to go out and kind of network with people have your own set list ready know the kind of tunes that are in circulation at the jams yeah in your area having a good sense of how to present yourself mm -hmm. did, did i miss anything else that that about i mean i'm sure we could keep going but yeah i mean that, I could, we could talk about this for days yeah, honestly yeah. and if we think of anything else we can just throw it, it in the comments, comments below yeah. or something and yeah if anyone has any questions thoughts concerns anything to add yeah uh just throw them down below we'll Definitely. be we'll be in there popping around so yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. thanks for being here um be sure to check out alex's channel it's also linked right here in the description below thanks for having me on yeah absolutely yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. What were you saying well, what else you should do uh, before you move here? Oh yeah, what, yeah, things to do. Um, do this before moving to Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, uh, come on. Is this just like a totally different tuning? <laughs> <laughs>